Apply three bleed to impair. Yes. You please get impaired. You're doing a lot of damage to me. Then we're gonna end our turn. There you go. He's down. He's dead. Don't we win now? Wait, we don't win? I thought we just won immediately. Oh well. You can use Kardashi Faint. That heals us a bit. And final deception use. It's pretty good. Tall wide lunge. He evaded! What the hell? Get stabbed by a serrated jerk. Then. And then I'll end my turn. Plus two health and defend. He's feeding. He slip away, slip away. Dock hands. Strong attacks apply to wound. Dodge next hit. Also just dodge immediately next hit. Okay. It's not like a chance hit. They just dodge. Improvise. To impair. Get impaired. There you go. Deal a little less damage. There you go. He evaded. Saber grip. He evaded. Can I just cancel? We'll end our turn now. You guys can do this with a bit. Rev up. Shiv. And my friend should be fine. He's taking a lot of damage. But he still should be fine. We'll rummage a bit. And we get rid of defense anyway if we don't want it. Now this will cause me to take some damage. But it will also heal me. You know what? Get smacked. Get smacked. Get smacked. There you go. And we're done for now. Smacked for 13. Slip away, he's dead. He's dead, he's dead. You know what though? There you go. This should heal me up quite a bit. Apply two bleed. Whenever you apply bleed, heal one. You know what? This is a good test. Two bleed. 55. Well, I mean, it didn't, it didn't matter anyway. Well, whatever. End my turn. Smack. This guy is dead. He's getting wounded. There you go. Can I accept the surrender? That should be fine. Shields. Gain defense equal to the damage dealt by this card. Gain one defense per card. And deception. D plus six damage. Elbow strike. Give me combo, that's trash. Sal's daggers. Five bleed and... Whoa, okay, so I got the right one. Bloody daggers. Good. And battle cards. So the us put on gain counter. Discard this card. Increase damage of this card by four. Until played and returned to your hand. Whenever you improvise a card, uh, random enemy gains this You're starting to get a reputation for violence. Killer, whenever this is in your hand, gain one dominance. Unstable. Draw a card, play it with a random target. Alright. Bullet is dead. Thanks for the assist. Anytime, Sal. It's not long before Ulu comes to relieve you from your shift. And now with this guy dead. Look at that. Nice. Hey there, Ulu. Mission accomplished, see? I take it things went well. I haven't heard any complaints anyway. So, a deal's a deal. You get into the auction. And here, for good luck, a tip you shouldn't have. It's a requisition shit. You can use it to seize one item from the auction block. 
Consider it the curl's character as well as mine. Ask about the requisition cheat. So with this cheat, I can take anything on the block. That's right, they're incredibly valuable. So be thankful, I like you. You can also just buy things too, but the auction is pretty flashy. You and you will draw attention to yourself if you do. Right, which would make it harder to catch Kashio by surprise. I leave it up to you how much you want to risk for a bobble. Ask what you're going to do next. What about you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm going to watch, obviously, and ready my backup plan. You have a backup plan? We help each other because we both want Kashio taken out, remember? I didn't put all my eggs in one basket. Which I guess is the same as saying I half expected to get cracked. Party's home. I am hurt and offended, etc. So does that mean your officers will step up to my side when the fighting starts? Sure, the ones that Cashio doesn't already have nice and cozy in her pocket anyway. But I've gathered a few loyal officers to help me keep them under control while you do your thing. Where will you be? With them, but if you need me, just say the word. You've made things mighty interesting since you got to Murder Bay and it'd be a shame to see you leave so quickly. Ask about the annex. So if this all goes well, the cult will agree to let the Admiralty annex Murder Bay? Oh, I guess, but that's about my pay grade. Murder Bay is one thing, that's Admiralty territory. So it may as well be officially dealt with. And, can't ju and this can't just be about the debt market. What does Deltry care about laborers across the sea? Not a fig, and the cult knows it too. So all this, it's just for show. The cult's playing the long game and they'll never... Go and they'll go whichever way they want, bribes be damned. Ugh, talking politics always makes my tongue feel bloated. When this is over, I'll treat you to a bottle to kiss it better. Thank Ulo. Hey, no matter how this turns out, thank you. A lot of people would write off and eat Derek, even with the hunter's papers. No need for this mushy stuff there, Sam. When I first hired you, I figured you'd either do the job or be good cannon fodder. You delivered, so dying would be one hell of a waste. Alright. Here we are, in the final battle. You pass through the door and are confronted by both the stink of incense and inner guard. This is Holman. Hold it, Grifter. This auction is invitation only. I'm looking for Ulu. I got an extremely shiny badge to show for it too. Oh, I heard about you. A weird move, but these are weird times. That's a way to say times are weird and not Ulu herself. I did not say. Go on in. Hand over your requisition. Take place. Take place of the auction. Hang back with security forces. Hand over your requisition. Hand over my requisition. I want to have a look at the auction items before any go up on the block. Ulu says I'm allowed to take one as a reward. That's a big ask, Sal. You got any proof? Just a little requisition chit. Legit and everything. That's a step. That Then step right up, Hunter. Which one will you be taking? You browse the item on display. Each one carefully positioned on mildew repelling fabrics. Dermal cast. At the start of your turn, heal to. This rare graft rejuvenates the body and mind. Well, the body for sure. Macro Rasp. Whenever you apply bleed, deal 1 damage. At the beginning of the turn, take damage. Okay, yeah. Straight from the highest ranking blood striker, the infamous Marco Rasp. It's also pretty good. Support Beacon. Summon a combat drone to fight for you. Drone number 0056 activated. Luxury package engaged. Discharge Pistol. Apply 2 wound piercing, destroy for 2 uses. Retrorian Force Glaive. Apply 8 bleed and destroy. Sal wasn't too sure where the release was or how to hold this machine thing at all. I think Marco Rasp is amazing. And I'm gonna take that. Marco Rasp is so short. Fine, fine. Chantier. You got a post? Take a place or hang back? I'm gonna take a place at the auction. I want... Attack deal 2 bonus damage targets with bleed. In one action battle card upgrade with multiple upgrades. Now I have one fewer option. You know what, I'll hang back, because I, I got the thing I wanted, right? Like, what else was there? The sword, the pistol, whatever, Some, summon a combat drone, I guess it's okay, but... Meh. Mm, hang back. I'm here to back up the guard. Not sure why Olo thinks we can't handle this ourselves, but I suppose the annex has folks on edge. The auction starts. You let the items pass by, you're in this for an even bigger price. And it isn't long before you're rewarded. You get so used to the same few oiled elbows making their bids that new movement at the edge of the room draws your attention. It's Cashio looking none the wiser than you might be in the crowd. That you might be in the crowd. She's confident her friends part to socialize with the crowd, leaving Cashio's back exposed. Now's your chance. You pass through the shadows like a thread, weaving your way to Cashio's side. No sudden movements. 
Your blade presses gently into her side, just below her ribs. Chula so. I can't even count as high as the number of reasons I got for wanting you dead. Pasako. But I'll still turn you in alive if you play nice. Pasako. I knew a grubby little boggling like you would grow up too greedy for your own good. Pasako. I hate you enough to almost fall for that, but ain't nobody greedier than you, Cashio. You sold out your wit, your friends, heck, even me. I bet my contract didn't even go for that higher price. You could have made more off me as your apprentice. But I bet looking at my face just made you hate your freedom a little too much. Seems you've not the only auction on the floor. Seems you are not the only action on the floor. Admiralty guards pour in from the door, roughly accosting some merchants who, judging by the scars, are anything but. You've been in enough brawls to know what's about to go down, but so has Cashew. I need some water. So give me a second. Well, I. Ah, there you go. Grab this. Drink up. All right. She thrust her elbow into the crook of your blade arm, throwing you off balance. By the time you recover, she's got her weapons drawn. Heal Cashew. Well, I have the advantage here. You have the first strike and a bonus action on the first turn. You are isolated, get away with murder and no escape. And I have my dog. The lights go out. You hear the shouts, bangs and sound of the great lumen tank under the stage breaking. The emergency lighting comes back on, revealing a ruined auction hall. Well, it, Derek. Here we are. I can call Ulu to attack all enemies. Look at that. But I'm not going to waste this. Inception. Oh my god. This. Kardashi Paint. Who is hitting you with 13? Freelancer Cashew? Come on, man. Well, then you will get stunned. But anyway, tall, uh, wild lunge. Yes. And then get kidney shot. Stop attacking. And. Uh, get bled as well. There you go. And my dog is getting ready. 15 damage to me once again. But you're like applying status effects and stuff. 5 defense. Not sure. 5 defense. Blood guard. And then we'll call Ulu to attack enemies. Well, that's it. And then Sal's bloody daggers. And give me, give me gouge actually, because I want the defense that I can get. Oh, ouch! From this card, eight damage, and that gives me eight defense. Hail of blades. Because that'll do 5 and 5, although she has counter. You know what? No. Okay. Power Blade. Wow, okay. And she just called in a giant robot. And Forcer Buggy. Blade Mouth Beating, Vial of Slurry. 1, 2, 3, 4. You know what? Sure. We drink up Vial of Slurry. We apply a Kardashi paint and does she have counter? She doesn't. Dermal cast gains the debuff. She heals. Power glaive does additional damage. Gains 4 counter. Always attack me and 2 defense. We get stab stab. And then once more, we get bled. She heals for 3 for every time I bleed her. That's bullshit. Well, I gotta keep doing this. Even though she heals for 3. Head got an expose. My dog is taking a beating, but I'm sure he can handle it. It should be that bad. Okay, well. You know what? Use utility belt. Step aside, I got this. Tincture is power. 
know what? Give me, give me tincture. Oh, and I can choose two of them. So give me tincture and give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me call window. So I'll use this. Give me extra power. I'll call in Ulu. Oh, she stunned the robot. Nice. And then we'll go boost the paint. Why does that give me only three? I have no idea, but sure. And then we will savage lacerate. Ow. Trust four. Ow. And uh, get this enforcer buggy out of here. Buggy, sorry. Get fed. Ouch. Okay, I'm getting smacked pretty bad here. So, uh, what if you don't do anything instead? And then, what if I do a tall deception? This is amazing. What if I rummage? And get that faint out of here. And then improvise this. And then draw a bunch of cards. Call Ulo out again. Smack him for like barely anything, but sure. And uh, give you some of this. Get smacked real hard. Get fed. She's doing 9 damage. Well, I'm gonna need boosted plating at least. And then following faint, that saves me. But then I'm gonna want to do this blade. She does hit back really hard. Then let's put in some proper bleed on her. And then rummage does the power. Oh, it gives me power actually. You know what? There you go. Give me that power. Whacked 67 health. I'm at 23. She's hitting me for 5 only. Alright. Booster deception. Blade mouth beating. Give me an action anyway. This card is destroyed. We'll do this for sure. Oh, ho, ho, she's surrendering. Not so fast. Okay, I think I should stop. Yeah, give me give me the fire defense. Then I'm gonna end my turn. Goodbye, you surrender. I will accept your surrender. And become rich. The dust settles. Those that could took cover out of harm's reach. Hands reappear like crabs crawling out of the sludge after the rain. Once you and Cassio threw the first blows, it wasn't long before the spree hiding in the rafters made their move and the Admiralty closed in to finish them off. There aren't many people left standing. Chisako? You still breathing, Sal? Supersana. Seem to be. Shotase. I don't know, I wouldn't put it past you to be an extremely cunning and duplicitous corpse. She pats down your so shoulders, checking you for bumps and bruises. Mapusha. Eh, you've been through worse. Because, Don't tell me you've left me a present. There's no admiralty bounty for Cashew, but I figured you'd like to say goodbye before I haul her off for good. As if you haven't just invited more yotes into your den. Yotes. An opportunistic predator. Endemic to the heavy Harvey coast. There are admiralty officers up the ranks who won't be happy at your initiative switch. And they won't make a life any easier for either of you. Hey, I welcome the change of face. And when has life ever been easy for Sal, huh? You ever seen a Derek? I bet Sal's teeth still grow in the dark. It isn't about what's easy. It's just about putting things right. Cashew turns away from you, so all you can see is the stubborn curve of her bro. Hesh speed, Sal. I'm sure I'll see you very soon. Won't be long before I need someone with a bit of flexibility. With this bounty, I'll never need to work again. Ha! <laughs> As if you'd retire now. I'll see you when you're bored then. Ulu heads to the door, barking orders as a flood of admiralty reinforcements arrive. You head out the back door to keep your bounty from too many prying eyes. Leave the auction. Sal Brawl Unlocked. You've unlocked a new game mode for Sal. Focus on card play and test out new strategies in Brawl. The next time you start a run. 
Okay. The crowd parts to let oh. you pass. And it's only the first of many such exits. You're a rich woman now. And you'll have a reputation to maintain. Mm, I'm rich. I like, I like the sound of that. out of the picture, there's a yawning hole where her influence should be. But you've got friends in high places who are happy to fill it. And these days, it isn't your concern. Fish was always a good listener. She keeps an ear to the ground and keeps your enemies off your back. All from her place behind the bar. Ulo got her wish. Her family knows she isn't a piece to be played with. And whenever they get a bright idea about some new scheme, she makes sure they run it through her first. You stay still just about long enough to check in on those that matter. But that isn't too long. You have old graves you want to visit. Old wounds that still need tending to. Mm -hmm, back in the game. There's a life waiting for you in Haveria now. You just have to seize it. Oh. Oh my god, 20 negotiations. 7 out of 7 grads, 5 people love me. Boom, we got one more new items. The setup and the crusher. Attack a random argument, spend or influence, attacks again per influence spent. I just couldn't keep up with them. And that can become gain an influence after that. Or it does 3 damage per... That doesn't sound that good actually. Setup, gain 2 influence, end of your turn, lose 2 influence, okay. Lose three influence, gain three, or lose only one. Okay, interesting. Educate, duplicate a random friendly argument. Chosen or doesn't expand. Okay. Ghost strike, draw a card, discard this card. Your attack deals two bonus damage this, this turn. Kardashi pugilists tend to faint a lot of their strikes, waiting for the perfect opening. Ghost strike. Three bonus damage, draw two cards. Okay, interesting. Burst. Apply bleed equal to damage dealt by this card. That's pretty nice. But for two, it does only that much. Okay, yeah, five to five or three to nine. Okay. Tooted burst or tall burst. Oh, what is this? The, the, the claws ripped right through his armor like it wasn't even there. And then cross. Gain combo equal to damage dealt by this card. Okay. Sure, it's slow, but the follow up is amazing. Alright, interesting, interesting. And we have enough to get another one. New items, evoke and bloody mess and the professional outfit. Sal the professional. Gain one influence, evoke. An opponent's argument is removed or destroyed. Okay. And gain two influence or it's, it can just be played for free. Incent, inve, what is this? Invective. Get one heated, evoke. Play three hostility cards in a single turn. Heated. The argument is heating up. Targets an opponent argument each turn for one damage per stack. At the end of owner's turn, add one stack of heated. Ooh, so it doesn't go down, it goes up. That's pretty good. And so this is one heated. And doesn't expend. This is two heated. Alright. Abrupt remark. Wrong. <laughs> Draw one card. An opponent argument is removed or destroyed. Draw two cards or any argument is up to okay, even your own, I say. And then battle cards, bloody mess, leech. Heal one health per bleed on the target. It's a little gruesome, but the worms can put all that mess to work for you. Okay, and then heal two health per bleed or it's free. Okay. Pretty interesting. Apply three bleed, then gain defense equal to bleed. Again, very good. Two. One of the more unconventional blood strikes, this attack strengthens one durability. And then applies 5 bleed, that sounds like very good or it's cheaper. Abil blood bath ability, whenever you apply bleed, apply one bleed to all other enemies. Interesting. Just extend your range a little more and those blades will be biting into everyone. And I either make it one cost or ambush, put it in my hand. And I have obviously the professional outfit. And another level. New items. Big draw and the fury. Hunter outfit. Planning. 
All right, make some room. Draw one card. Choose a card from your hand to place on the top of your draw pile. <clears throat> draw two cards or improvise one card from your draw pile. What do you? What is improvise? Choose one of three cards. Yeah, but hmm, is improvise ran? Improvise is random cards, right? Maybe. Solid point. When this card is drawn, deal one damage to a random opponent argument and gain one influence. Unplayable. Three damage or two influence. A few more of these, of those, and I'm all yours. Subtlety. Spend one influence and draw two cards, and also do three damage. If you do a job well enough, nobody can tell you were there at all. Rooted is does more damage, or boosted gives me three cards. All right. And the fury. Breather. Take a second, organize your thoughts, and plan your next move. Spend three combo, gain one action. It's a finisher. Spend two combo or gain two actions next turn. Delayed. Okay. Interesting. Blade Fury. Spend up to three combo, attack once extra per combo finisher. Per combo, it's a finisher. Combo points are accumulated until they are spent by a finisher. Lose half your combo whenever you take damage. Okay. One of the more ferocious dagger combinations seen on the mainland. Blade Fury. Okay, so it does at least three times, and then it gives me two combo at the end. Rivals Blade Fury, or boosted just does more damage. Interesting, interesting. And then Echo Strike. Return to your hand when played. Gain one to two combo. Why change the vector of the attack if they keep falling for it? Okay. And then one to three instead of one to two, or boosted does more damage. Interesting, interesting stuff. And hunter outfit. One more, one more. Oh my god! And we got the infiltrated outfit. Interesting. Incept negotiation card. Seeds of doubt. Incept to incept to doubt. Well, now I don't know what to think. Targets doubt. Targets friendly arguments each turn for one damage per stack of doubt. Interesting. Three doubt or two doubt and draw. Card. That's pretty nice. Exploit weakness. Duplicate targets bounty or inception. Okay, okay. Let's not bring Casio into this. Okay. Duplicate target bounty or inception. It's free for fail or enduring means it doesn't expand. All right. Oh, we've used this. Eight damage. Incept to vulnerability instead of flustered. The flustered reduces damage. Vulnerability increases one damage extra. Okay, interesting. Incept four flustered. Flustered reduces damage by 33 percent. Remove one stack at the end of bonus turn. Okay, interesting. And another thing. And, okay. Uh, what is he holding anyway? Like two circles and stuff. Why? Whatever. That's incept. And then overwhelm. Overextension. Add an injury card to your discard pile. Cannot be played with an injury in your hand. The injury is one. It just says ouch. Okay. I think we are both gonna feel that in the morning. Eight to ten damage though. Rooted will do more damage. Eight to thirteen is toss. Even more of a higher limit. So a lot of damage, but it does add an injury. Okay. Crushing blow. Apply stun. Oh, dude. Twelve to sixteen damage. Apply stun and piercing. Can't act this turn. Remove stun at the end of turn. This condition does not stack. And then nail will make it piercing, or I can just boost it to me. Dude, this is an amazing card. I guess any stun card is pretty good. Apply to impair piercing. Brazen attack. Big and loud attacks are riskier, but leave your opponents reeling. Impair and more damage. More impair. Okay. And infiltrated outfit. Any more? No more. Prestige unlocked. Hunting cash. You can try prestige too now. All right. This was my battle deck. I didn't get to upgrade this to apply three bleed per turn. You installed, yeah, cool, okay, well. and blood guard would have turned into. Will not expand anymore. Look at that. Dude, this dust code was amazing. And obviously, my incredible negotiation deck, all about getting the influence and spending it. Action and practice. This is action and practice. This is expend and reflexes, influence and discarded, aggression and options, 
arguments and bar fights, discretion and mas instruction and masters. All right, continue. Oh, we're just straight up done, huh? All right, well, now we can play as Rook. Actually, let's check these outfits. Hunting Casio. With reduced difficulty and without permadeath. Hunting cash. Oh. And brawl. Survive an excreting series of jobs that Sal works for a living. Hunting Casio. So this is my deck. And I have 12 perk points. Perks are the tricks of the trade that grifters learn over the course of their adventures. Equipping different perks may influence how you you play your run. Unlock a new perk by completing new grips and spending your perk points here. One random person will like you. Six health. New pets are immediately trained. One power at the start of battle. The first graft is immediately upgraded. You gain 10 shields. Each time you use an item card with a charge. Gain maximum resolve. Fatigue starts one turn later than normal. What is fatigue? You start to run with additional 75 shields. Once per day, drink and eat without any repercussions. Tough constitution. Hmm. I think like innate connection is pretty good. So I'll be taking that. Put that over there. Unlocking three more perks. I mean. Random people like me. Swear jar is pretty good. Money. And max resolve. You know what? Perfect shape. Pretty strong, I would say. And I mean, gain max resolve. And then in the second slot, let's put in swear jar for more money. And then six more. No, 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 spare jar here. Tough constitution, meh. Let's have like one random person likes me. Good health, sure. And then premium quality. Researcher. Oh, we got these already. Sorry, what am I doing? Draw two additional cards at the start of every battle negotiation. Eating food also restores health of your pet. Meh. Two people will like you. Each day a random person that likes you will... You kidding? You kidding? <laughs> Are you actually kidding? That's amazing. Eating he heals. Eight bonus health. Resolve. Meh. Six maximum resolve. Fatigue starts two turns later than normal. Stamina. Just one more. Hmm. You know what? Put benefits too in there. I'll put swear jar here. Can I put benefits one and benefits two? Yo, three random people will like me, but no, one all. Okay. All we want is innate connection is sure, sure, maybe. I think that's good. Charming and then make two people like me as part of the game. So then immediately every day a random person will start loving you instead. Think about it like that. You can install at most two perks from this tier per run. At most one tier, because the tier five ones. So like swear jar is pretty good. I also like one extra power, that's one damage immediately but charming combined with benefits is actually good i can get benefits three that would be great and then prestige so i can play every card carefully griffland strikes back you cannot restart the day without dying when dying non-boss enemies have upgraded abilities and have a chance to spawn as a promoted version negotiation opportunities have improved arguments opponents non-boss enemies stronger in battle negotiation opponents have increased resolve and damage. Bosses are stronger in battle. Level 2. And then custom game. 
We have no mutators and all card sets are active, I guess. Okay, that's sure. And outfit. So yeah, this is what I wanted. Sal's bounty hunter gear. Sal the professional. So kind of a like cool yellow with only one. Oh, this is like a lower down, I guess. With the another layer on top. Interesting. Sal the hunter. More like hair and stuff. An infiltrator. Who will pink arrows and stuff. Sal the infiltrator with blue and and different helmet as well each time. Look at that. The simple one. This one has like a blue thing in the middle. So like ski goggles. We'll go with the infiltrator. Anyway, we're not doing this right now. So uh, yeah, for now, good game. We won the first one. Pretty nice, pretty easy. We had some good decks. So yeah, I will see you all in the next episode. See you then.